The most important concept in framing the ecosystem is translating the entities generated into roles they currently are or potentially could be playing. These roles will hold their positions in the ecosystem. A group of entities acts in a capacity of a role by sharing the same characteristics or advantages. This step is all about clustering and naming your roles. In this context, a weekender, family, honeymooner or adventurer share the same motivation when traveling and looking for a place to stay. They represent demand for authentic travel experiences. On the other hand, it's also trendy to welcome people in your home for at least one night and maybe even take them out on the town. A part-time host or a flat sharer might be a better fit for travelers with a desire for authenticity than hotels. Hosts respond to the demand for authentic travel. You may have noticed that the professional landlord was not included to the group of hosts. It's because at this point you can start making design decisions and decide, for instance, that this type of entities is not interesting to us. At least not now. The organizations that enable guests to reach their destinations share a mutual advantage of handling the frequency of booking their journeys. They enable guests in fulfilling their demand. Viable, spin lister or audio walk, they all have the same interests in this ecosystem. It's about sharing their unique knowledge and passion about their surroundings in order to enrich travelers' experiences. They all act like a local expert. And if you don't know the city you are visiting at all, Yelp, OpenTable or Resi can help you find a table for any occasion and discover local businesses. Download the app and off you go. Pretty enabling. If there is a local expert that knows its territory, then it makes sense to call the fun pages created by experienced travelers global experts. They are here to share all sorts of information. Information that can serve both hosts and guests. The on-demand economy came with an abundance of various online shopping apps. These can be of benefit to anyone traveling, but also staying at home. Download the app and get your fast and satisfactory grocery shopping experience. Why not to call them on-demand business? There has been a bunch of entities identified that help hosts with the financial management, household management and safety. A price advisor typically handles the finances. Concierge or a housekeeper already exists in a value chain of a hotel. And if there is someone who would like to cover all of these aspects, that role could bear the name property manager. And as noted earlier, hotels Motels, inns or guest houses all represent a traditional form of temporary accommodation. And what about the authorities, cities, towns, local communities? They too share a position in this ecosystem. So what you are doing in this step is clustering your ecosystem entities into roles. This is again a generative step. However, we go for quality over quantity. If you think that one entity could play multiple roles, that's fine. Just write down the entity again under the cluster where it's missing. I am a great weekender, but a wonderful host too. And I have a very different reason to act in the capacity of both roles. And this is also why this step is so important. If you have a somewhat generic name for a role, it will allow scaling up to new undiscovered entities later on. Take your ecology map and look at your entities. Cluster them into roles and position those roles you find important into the inner circles. The P and C in the blue core of the ecology map stand for producer and consumer. Consumers are roles that represent demand and utilize available supply. 
producers, on the other hand, respond to that demand and contribute to available supply. These roles do not have to be necessarily of a professional nature. Take me as an example. I never learned how to host strangers. The enablers surrounding the core of the ecology map support value exchange through specialized technologies, content, products and services. These are mostly of a more professional nature. Positioning roles is a very crucial strategic step. At this point, you determine the first smell of the framed ecosystem. It's also about narrowing down the focus to the most interesting roles and further clustering if necessary. All the other roles stay out of scope as indirect stakeholders and can serve as inventory for the next iteration of platform design. A role in a keystone position regulates connections among ecosystem members and works to increase overall diversity and productivity. Airbed and Breakfast is positioned as a keystone in this ecosystem with sufficient power to potentially orchestrate connections among all of the other selected roles. Note how Airbed and Breakfast influences the positions of the other roles in the core of the ecology map. In the step that follows, you will make a selection of the most important roles identified to understand them better. So stay tuned!